everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be doing this awesome medieval mountain house you see right behind me. This was so much fun to make. I'm going to show you how to do the outside and the interior in this video block for block. So let's get this started. All right, and here we go with the block palette. So we're going to be using some stone brick, stone brick stairs, some white concrete, some diorite, diorite stairs, some stripped dark oak logs, some dark oak planks, the stairs and the slabs, also the trap doors, some spruce stairs, the fences, the fence gates, and the trap doors, some oak logs, stripped oak logs, and some barrels. As far as the dimensions, just find yourself a big flat wall in a mountainside or hill, and this is it. This is all you need. That's the footprint. So we're going to be pushing it back on the inside for interior, but as far as the outside area, you're not going to need a lot of space. All right, now let's go ahead and start right here on this corner with some stone brick and take this up. One, two, three, and four. Here we're going to double it up. So one, two, three, and four. Down here, we're gonna go up one and then put a stair on top. We're gonna give this one a space of one, two, and three. Right here, we're gonna do the same thing. So one, two, three, and four, up by four here. We're gonna take this one up one and a stair on top. Now here, we're gonna give it a space of three. I'm gonna go again, up by four, four on this one. Take this one up one and a stair on top right there. Then another one, two, and three right there. I'm gonna place some stairs here, so one, two, and three. Later on, I'm gonna add a little front dock area here, but you don't have to do this. This is only because I have this lake here in front. If you have nothing in front, you just uh, stop right there. Now, next up, we're gonna jump inside this area. I'm gonna be using just some of this white concrete for now, and we'll texture some diorite after. You don't have to include the diorite if you don't want to, but we're gonna go in one, two, three, and four. Put one in the bottom, one in the side, and then one, two, and three, and just make this small little two uh, high window on this section. We're going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to make a doorway. So one, two, three, four, one and two, then one, two and three. Under here, I'm going to put a diorite stair. Then really quick, just for me, I'm give a little bit of diorite texturing on this. Now on the bottom here, I'm going to leave this piece of grass and I'm going to make a small flower box right there. You can put any flower of your choice on top of that or even berry bushes might look pretty cool. Now let's go right here on the side. And if you don't have any elevations, I'll go ahead and put a uh, stone brick right there. And then I will go ahead and put a stair on top of that one. Repeat it over here on this side. So a stone and stone brick stair right there. Now next up, let's go ahead and put some fence gates on top of every one of these stairs going all the way around. Then I'm going to be placing some of our spruce trap doors above the fence gates we just placed. Then next up, let's grab some stairs and I'm going to go with some spruce stairs. Let's go upside down all the way around surrounding this area, even on the inside part where these windows are set up. Then from here, we're gonna grab some strip dark oak and I'm gonna be going up right from this section. Let's go up one, two, three, four, and five. Over here, one, two, three, four, and five, and then one, two, three, four, and five right there. Then I'm gonna do some cross beams right here on the top level. And then we're gonna pop these logs out right on top of those stairs, just like so. Now let's add some trap doors underneath these logs and then I'm gonna grab the fence gate again and let's go ahead and open them up on the side and let's go up by two on each side next to those stairs and again on this side, adding a little bit of detail there to the windowsill and leave them open. And then right here on top of these beams, we're gonna go ahead and put some upside down spruce stairs just like so. Then next up, let's put some stairs on top of these pop out logs facing downwards. Then I'm gonna add some fences in those little gaps in between. Now from here, we're gonna put some fences. Now we're gonna put them on top of every one of these stairs we just placed. Then on top of that, we're gonna grab our trap door of our spruce and place these on top of the fences we just placed here. Then from here, let's grab our spruce stairs and we're gonna go upside down and surround this all the way around as well, right around the side, just like we did on the bottom level. Now next up, let's grab our logs again and let's pop these out right from here. We're gonna go down one, two, three. Let's go down one, two, and three. Then one, two, and three. On top here, we're going to grab a barrel and we're going to drop the barrel right on top facing downwards right here on this little pop out log going all the way down like so. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and put an upside down stair on this log right here. So an upside down stair on the top, one on this section right here, do another one here. So upside down, upside down. Then right on this level, we're going to also drag down this log here. So one and two, one and two, one and two, and then cross beam right here at this level where those stairs were just placed. Then I'm going to put a trap door on the top trap door on the top. Then we're going to fill in this little middle gap here. Let's grab some of our dark oak planks and just take this down. So that's one, two, then let's go up one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, cover this up and then also cover that bottom up. So we're just going to have this section be our window. 
Underneath here, we're gonna grab just any way to do a flower box. You can grab dirt or grass. I'm gonna cover up these three right there and then bring in our dark oak trap doors right there, just like we have at the bottom. Then let's go ahead and do it over here as well. We're gonna go down, so one level here, one level here, then one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, cover up that, and then cover up this. Another flower box here, so these three trap doors on the bottom, and we have these two windows on the top. Now, we're also gonna pop out a log this direction, and we're also gonna pop out a log this direction. We're gonna grab a fence, put that in that little gap, and we're gonna put another one in this little gap here as well. Then, let's grab our dark oak stairs here, and we're gonna go upside down, three here, then three right here. Then on this side, let's work on this roof. We're gonna go down with our stairs and stop right at this level, right uh, next to that barrel. We're gonna put a stair facing down, upside down, forward, upside down, forward, upside down, forward, and it should be lined up perfectly to the center. I'm gonna put an upside down stair right there. I'm gonna grab a dark oak slab and take this down, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna go back down. So stair here, upside down, stair forward, upside down here and just keep going all the way down till you get back to this barrel right there overhang that bit and then take it all the way down like so now from here we're going to grab two kinds of oak we're going to go with our oak log and stripped oak log i'm going to go with our regular oak log in the center right at this point so one two and three this one one two and three was stripped one two and three was stripped we're going to go one and two with oak one and two and it's one small gap here we're going to put stripped on this corner and then also stripped on this corner now up top here, I'm gonna grab some stripped spruce logs and we're gonna go down one and two. One and two, two up all the way right here in the back and then another section over here. So two all the way down, just like so. Now some final details you could do, grab some buttons of oak and place these on these exposed log pieces all the way around, just like this. And then last but not least, you can go ahead and add either berry bushes or ferns, really anything here will look pretty good. Uh, but also you would add some glass and I'm going just with regular old clear glass on the top and I'm gonna go with white glass on the bottom. And then you can pretty much use any door of your choice here. I think a spruce one would look pretty good, but also dark oak would look nice. All right, now let's go ahead and set up the interior. So you can make this as big or as small as you want it. For me, I have a nine by nine box frame here on the side. So just you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then the height will go pretty much right to the end of that roof. So let's count from here. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It stops right here and then it steps up just like so following the curve of the roof and we stop in it right here and then coming back down. So that's how it would look from the inside and then you can just carve out uh, this section just like so. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm setting up this interior. This is all up to you. You don't have to do this part. You can do anything on the inside. So let me show you a little bit of a trick here that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get some looms. I'm going to put them sideways like so. Uh, pretty much going from here, from this front to the back. And it gives you this nice little trim. It could work as empty bookshelves, but it also works well as a little bit of a trim for a wall. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And again, this is a 9 long over here. Then over here in the back, I'm going to do the same thing. And this time we're going to turn it in this direction. But I'm going to carve out these three right here. And don't worry about exposing those little side bits. I'm going to cover those up with trapdoors in a second. Because also, I'm going to push this back. And we're going to have a nice little spiral staircase to get to the back, uh, well, to the second floor. Then I'm going to go with this cool pattern over here of this Tudor style. You don't have to go with this style. You can pretty much go with any combination of any two blocks will look pretty good. A couple different wood types will look pretty nice on the wall. But I'm going to go with this terracotta. So with red, I'm going to go up one, two, three and four right there let's go up one two three and four and then i'm just going to go ahead and do a orange and red combo which looks pretty nice i'm going to surround this whole area with it and it should look like this all the way around now next up i'm going to go right from here and go up one two and three with our trap doors close those up one two three over here close those up i'm going to put a spruce stair upside down on this side one on this side trap door in the center and then we can continue with this line right here just at the top just to continue the uh, the wallpaper all the way around. Now for our ceiling details, I'm going to go ahead and put slabs going down every other one just like so. And then I'm going to be putting some of our trap doors in the gap. So let's do this one really quickly. And once we have that all filled out, we should have a two block gap space from this lining to the next area. So what we can do here, we can actually make a nice flooring here and it won't interfere with the ceiling from the first floor. Now from here, I'm gonna dig out this area. All right, so I dug out this little spot. Really all we're gonna need is this little three by three area because we're gonna cover up this back wall, this wall, and this wall with the same blocks we have down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna bring in looms again. So one, two, and three here. 
three on this side, and then three on this side. We're going to continue with this wallpaper style. So let's bring in the red. Let's go up one, two, three, and four. We're going to stop right there for now. One, two, three, and four here. Four up on this. Well, this one's going to go a little higher, but let's just put four for now. Four over here, and then four over here. Bring in our orange here, and then we're going to go up again. Four on this side. Oh, don't grab the loop. Shift, click it, and then we're going to go up right to there. So we have this little back room right here, which looks pretty awesome. I want to make the wallpaper different above this layer so we have different looks on the top and bottom. But for right now, this is perfect to get up to the next floor. Now, before we add our spiral staircase here, let's go ahead and put a flooring down. For right now, I'm just going to cover everything here in dark oak. Now that this is all covered in dark oak, I'm also going to put dark oak on this little trim here on the top level. Now, one light modification I want to do, let's actually take that pop-out log, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this down all the way right here. Then I'm going to cover up this little spot. Let's go ahead and turn that, and then turn that. Uh, for this one here, we can uh, take that out and just put a dark oak on each side, just to have that all... Uh, looking the same up here. I'm not gonna put any windows So you could cover this up you could detail that bit as you wish but for right now Let's just leave that part now for the wallpaper color here on the top You could put any combination. I want to use some darker colors So let's bring in our loom again and go down from here again one two three four five six seven eight and nine I'm gonna put another one over here on this side. So going all the way down Let's take this down one and two One and two and then we're gonna turn it here. So one two three three on this side three on this side then i want to bring in gray and i also want to bring in black so let's go with and these are concretes here so gray and black concrete so let's go up one two three four and five every other one and then we're going to go ahead and put the gray in between so let's add this all the way around and there you go we got this all wrapped around looking awesome now the next thing i really want to do i'm going to cover up this top part with these same logs here that we have for our strip spruce and I'm going to take this all the way down, just like so. Actually, let's take them down sideways. So this is going to go all the way down to the end. That should cover up that end. And then we're just going to go ahead and take these down, following the same pattern that we see there at the top. Uh, and we're just going to take it all the way down. And then in these little gaps over here, let's just go ahead and take these uh, concretes all the way up to the top and cover everything up. So that should look like that over here. And then this side, we can go ahead and push this in one. So let's go ahead and do this. We can bring that down bring all of these down keep that Tudor style I'm not gonna put any windows here but we can do a little bit of a cover-up job so it looks flush on this side of the wall right there then up here we have this dirt for this section here I'm just gonna grab some slabs of our spruce and just take this all the way down right there at the top level then over here let's go ahead and do the same thing we did at the bottom I'm gonna grab some spruce let's put a upside down stair here upside down stair right there trap doors going all the way down so this should go one two three four right there so one two three and four and close those up so we have this front entry to get into this section also up here let's go ahead and get rid of this one last level right about there and then let's go ahead and lift these up one more right around like so this might break out to the outside it does so we can just go ahead and cover that up that's fine uh let's just take that up to here let's go ahead and cover that cover that okay i think we're good now oh and that perfect now let's take these up one more Perfect. Then up here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a vaulted ceiling look. And I'm just going to do this out of spruce. Let's get some spruce slabs. And also we have our trapdoors here. So really super simple. We're going to go ahead and put slabs every corner, trapdoors in those gaps. And then down here in the middle, I'm going to grab a barrel, face it downwards. And let's grab a lantern. And it could be any lantern. I'm just going to drop this one right there. Now for the spiral staircase, I'm going to grab some of our strip spruce log. And let's put it right here in the middle. And then I'm going to go from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go up seven right there. And what's wrong with this loom? Fixed it. Then we're going to grab our dark oak stairs. And let's put one right here on this level, right next to this log. And then we're going to go ahead upside down, put a curved upside down, one forward, upside down, curve that. And then we're going to do the same pattern until we get all the way to the top. And this should lead us perfectly up to level to the next floor. So we're going to keep going up like this in this pattern, upside down, one regular here. Then once we get to this section, I'm going to put a trap door and a trap door, and then we can walk right through. I can't really put a trap door here because then if we come down, we'll block our head. But uh, if we keep going, this goes perfectly around. So we're safe right there to the top. Then right here on the top of this level, we can put pretty much anything. I'm going to go with a spruce slab just like that at the top. 
Now let me go ahead and show you guys what you can do on the interior to make this place look even better. All right, now down here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a kitchen. So right in the center of these two, I'm gonna get a smoker and cut one and two. So we have a space of three here and a space of three right here. I'm gonna put a stone brick stair facing down here, one and two. And then I'm gonna grab some stone bricks, knock these two bits out and take these down like so. Have a little exhaust. And then I can go ahead and maybe do a little bit of texturing by adding um, some regular stone there. Then up here, let's just go with a barrel lining. So one, two, and three. Then one, two, and three over here. I'm gonna grab some fence gates and open these up on both sides like that. Then down here, we could do a little bit of a mix of different things. So how about we put a barrel here, put another barrel. Let's put a cauldron on that side and a crafting bench uh, here. Let's go ahead and put just a couple more barrels. That's perfect. Uh, then uh, actually, you know what we could do? Uh, we can actually knock these down, down here. We can grab a campfire. If we want these to actually be on, this is a cool little trick you could do. Just throw those two down there and then close these up and it looks like it's always on. That's up to you guys if you wanna do something like that. If you wanna have the smoke a little lower, you can actually take this down here and then drop it down a little lower. You just have a little bit of smoke uh, on the top. So it's just looking, oh bye, whatever that was. It'll look like that. So smaller poofs if you guys want, that's pretty cool. Also, little things you can add over here would be a little cake action, maybe a flower pot in some spots here. We can even get rid of maybe one of these over here, and then we can add a trap door right here. We can add a couple of trap doors if you like. Get some farmland, get a little bucket of water, get any crop you want. I'm gonna go with carrots, and let's do this. I'm gonna put water right there. Get farmland, drop it right on this section, and then drop some carrots right there. We bone meal it up, and it looks like we have some carrots right there ready to be chopped up, which looks awesome. All right, now I wanna add like a little bit of a bar for seating over here. So I'm gonna grab some stripped dark oak logs and go up from here, just one, two, three, four, and five. And then right on the sixth one, I'm gonna take a beam and go all the way up right there. I'm gonna grab some of our uh, fences. Let's put a fence on this corner, fence on that corner, then some gates down the middle, one, two, and three. I'm gonna drop also some lighting from here. So let's grab a lantern, put it here, and then one on that side. And then on this section here, let's grab some seats. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna grab also some of our doors here. And let's grab uh, some spruce doors. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a lining right here. So one, two, and three. So these have like high chair backs. And then let's grab a banner. Can go with any color. I'm gonna do, uh, let's actually go with uh, some cyan. And I'm gonna go right here on the back. So let's put the shift click it right into that section. We got three chairs. Then let's get some pressure plates. And I'm gonna go with, uh, let's actually go with some oak ones. Uh, I'm gonna go right here, one, two, and three. And then maybe a flower pot on one side. It looks like a cup. We got this little seating area right there. Then back here on this corner, let's put a composter on each end. And then I'm gonna get some bush and let's go up one and two, but give it a space of one in between. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in the composter so I can raise up that compost right there. Also on this side, oh, no, nope. also on this side. Then I'm gonna grab some flower pots, let's put those underneath. And here I'm gonna grab some ferns and I'm gonna put those under there. So it kind of looks like this is a big plant on both sides. Then on this back wall, something super simple. I'm just gonna grab a trap door. Let's put one on this side and then one on this side. I'm gonna put a flower pot on each, some random flowers in there and a painting right in the center. Then down here we can add something very simple, just a small table, two upside down stairs, just like this. And then maybe another lantern on one side and then we can even add maybe some seed pickles on the other side, just like that. We could also add some carpet down here if you guys like. Uh, I'm just gonna go with a simple right here, one, two, and three. We can add some water right there and maybe a little lever facing down right there as a little sink. Now right here in the center, I'm gonna go with a simple bed frame. Let's go with some stripped dark oak logs. I'm gonna go up one and two. Let's go one and one right here. Put a stair of dark oak sideways, one sideways here, and a slab in the center. I'm gonna grab some red beds. Let's go one, two, and three. Let's grab these stairs. I'm gonna face them down one, two, and three right there on the corner. Uh, let's grab some barrels. I'm gonna put a little barrel nightstand on that side, barrel nightstand on this side. Let's grab a lantern and a uh, flower pot as well. I'm gonna put a lantern on that side, a flower pot on that side with a flower right there. Also, let's grab a button and I'm gonna go with a spruce one and put this right in the center just like that. Now for this corner here, we can go ahead and do a little bit of a storage area. So I'm gonna bring in our dark oak beams. Let's go up one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, give it a space of one and two and go up here by five as well. I'm gonna go with some stairs. Let's go with some upside down stairs of dark oak here, one and two. 
I'm gonna go with our uh, just a chest one and two here. Let's go with another upside down stair right there, another chest bit, and another upside down stair right over here. Then on this side, let's actually recess this in a little bit. Let's get some books, and I'm gonna put these bookshelves in the back right here. So let's go one and two, one and two. Then I'm gonna grab some of our dark oak trap doors, and let's go down from here. One, two, three, four, and five. Close those up. I'm gonna put a little bit of a shelf like this, so one and two. Let's go on the bottom level, one and two here. I'm gonna put a little brewing stand here on this corner. Then let's grab some slabs of our dark oak, and I'm gonna go ahead and line this up right at the top, just like this, going all the way down. And then underneath here, I'm gonna put a couple more of those trap doors. Also gonna put an extra chest, let's put that there on the side. So for added details, I'm gonna go with some ladders going up to the top, and then just a couple going down this direction, kind of broken. I'm gonna get some signs, and I'm gonna put some dark oak signs. Let's put one here at the bottom, and then one here at the top, and that just makes it look a little bit cooler. And then we can also get a crafting bench, and let's go ahead and replace one of these down here with a crafting bench like so. So we have this cool little shelving unit here, but then also we can play around with this side. For this one, we can do a little bit different. So let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna go with spruce this time. Let's go with one sideways like so. Let's give it a space of one and two, put another one sideways right here. I'm gonna grab a lectern and let's drop this in this section right there. And then let's get a trap door and put that on the side like so. I'm gonna get rid of this lantern. Let's put it back on this corner, that's fine. Then I'm gonna grab a stair, and this one is gonna be a dark oak one. Let's put this right in front of the lectern. Let's grab a trap door. This time we're getting the dark oak trap door. Let's go up one and two, close those up. Let's grab a banner like we did below. This one I'm gonna go ahead and do it at a light gray. Put this one up in the corner like that. Get some more signs. This time I'm gonna grab our spruce sign. I'm gonna put it right here on this corner, one here on this corner. Let's also grab another flower pot. Let's throw that in this edge and put any plant. Let's drop that right there. I'm gonna grab some more barrels and let's go right above here and go down one, two, three, and four, giving it a two block gap space right from there. And then let's grab these trap doors. I'm gonna go ahead and put two in the center and then I'm gonna grab some slabs and I'm gonna put these slabs one on this side, one on this side. Let's put another lantern just to light it up a little bit more up here. Uh, we can even grab another brewing stand. That'll be fine just to add more details here to the top. Uh, maybe even a stone cutter for, uh, you know, you never know when you need one in the bedroom. Put one here on the side and let's grab a grindstone and we're gonna throw this here on this corner. It's almost like a little workstation area, which looks pretty nice. Then just for added detail, how about we do this? Let's knock down this little bit here. Let's knock down that little bit right there. Let's grab some Podzol. Let's put it on the bottom end, right, on these two. And then we can go ahead and continue this little Tudor style right here on the back. We can go ahead and take that a bit away. Let's go ahead and take that bit away. And then I believe this is also, would it be fine? Oh, it's kind of right there at the edge. You know what? We can actually leave all this. Let's leave all this as um, just that gray. It's fine. Uh, we can even take these two out and let's cover that up with gray. Then let's get some glass. I'm gonna get any color glass is fine. I'm going with a regular one. Let's cover up these right there. Let's take this out for a little bit, just for a second. And then back here, let's get some water and we're gonna make a tiny little fish tank down here. I'm gonna drop a couple sea pickles here. Let's put some sea grass right there. Let's get some tropical fish. And let's just drop two fish right here. One and two, perfect, <laughs> that looks so awesome. And let's just cover all this up. And we got a little fish tank here. Just for added detail, let's just drop two trap doors there on the top. Now, one of the last things I wanna do, let's actually uh, do a little bit of a lining here, upside down stairs, then slabs in the gaps. And then up here, I just wanna add just a little bit of flower pot action. And it should look something like that with a little painting there at the top. We can add even more paintings over here, maybe an extra one right above there that would be all right. We can even add one more. Oh, that's the same one as the other one. There we go, one more on the top there. And then for added details, we can get some buttons. I would say spruce is fine. And then we could put a couple buttons here, two here, and go two here and two here just to add that extra bit. And then last but not least, we can add some carpet here. How about just some red carpet? We can just line this up right there at the bottom so it can match pretty much the bed frame. And we're done. <laughs> what do you guys think? This is looking so cool. And that is it. That is all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Now, let me go ahead and show you a little bit more detail that I added on the outside just to breathe a little more life to the area. 
check this out. We got a little bit of a boat dock right here in the front, just with a little bit of stone and a little bit of mossy. Added a little bit of a guardrail over here. It looks pretty cool. It's a little expensive with the anvils, but it does look awesome. So if you're doing this right in a in a riverside, lakeside property, this would look pretty cool, I think. Uh, extra bits of details over here, like campfire wood here on the side, little hanging lights, added some bushes, added some trees, added some flowers. And then also here on the side, this is uh, looking pretty cool. It was empty. So I was like, you know what? Let me add this tiny uh, little entrance to a mine that goes absolutely nowhere. But it looks pretty cool, though. <laughs> Look at that. But let me know if you guys want to see more of this medieval mountain style. This is a lot of fun to make. I got a lot of inspiration from it. We could do different color palettes, different heights, different sizes. This would be a lot of fun. Maybe a whole village on a whole mountainside in an extreme hills. That would be kind of cool. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. But for right now, I'm out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.